Hi, welcome back to our channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this beautiful raffle diaper cover. This is the list of materials that you will need. I will be using a uh, this is Sinfonia 100% cotton. It's a sport weight. You can use any baby light uh, number three or decay jar, uh, yarn. I will be using a 3.5 millimeter hook and a G hook is a 425 millimeter hook. Scissors, a thread and needle and 13 inches of elastic for the waist. For the embellishments, I will be using these uh, pearls, eight millimeters, and these little ones here, and ribbon. Okay, this is how much I have left after I, I'm done with the skirt. Lip about five inches, and then make a slip knot on the hook. And now chain 42. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and place a marker. And for the first um, row, we are going to be making one sing one double crochet taking the back loop of the chain and we are going to start on the chain number three so we are going to count one two and here on the number three taking the back loop we are going to be making one double crochet go to the next chain and make one double crochet and continue making one double crochet taking only the back loop of the chain uh, to the marker. We should have 32 stitches. This chain to here at the beginning is, does, doesn't count as a stitch. Okay, for the row number two, chain two, and now this chain two is going to count as our first stitch. Um, we are going to start decreasing. So go to the next uh, chain, turn over and make one double crochet. With this chain two here at the beginning, we have one double crochet um, decrease. And now make one double crochet to last two stitches. Okay, I have two stitches left, one and two, and now I will make one decrease here. I will make uh, two double crochet together. And now I have one decrease at the beginning and one decrease at the end. Chain two again, and we are going to decrease again. So we are going to skip this first uh, decrease that we made, and now on the next stitch here we are going to make the double crochet and we have our first double crochet decrease for the row number three we are going to be making now one double crochet on each stitch until we have two stitches left just continue making one double crochet to last two stitches okay I am finishing here we have the decrease in one stitch I will make a decrease here, so I will take two stitches, I have two double crochet and now close it together. Now chain two, for the number four we're going to be repeating the same, go to the next stitch and make one double crochet and we have the first decrease. Now make one double crochet on each stitch until you have two stitches left.
I have two stitches left and I will make my decrease and I will continue repeating this pattern until I have nine rows so I will be back with you just repeat uh, making one one decrease at the beginning and one decrease at the end okay I have one two three four five six seven eight and nine rows and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen stitches and now I will make chain two and now this, uh, this is not going to count as a stitch so go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet and for this row that is the number 10 we are going to be making one double crochet on each stitch we should have 16 stitches Okay, now chain two and turn and again I will be making one double crochet on each stitch and I will be repeating this row two more times so we should have four rows with 16 stitches okay I mark here the row number nine so I make a 10 11 12 and 13 making only one double crochet on each stitch and now we are going to start increasing I will start by making chain three one two and three this is going to count as my first stitch now I will make one double crochet in the same space now one double crochet on each stitch to last one. I have one stitch left and I will make one increase here to double crochet in the same space. So now we have one increase at the beginning and one increase at the end. For the next row, chain one, two and three turn your work go back to the same stitch and make one double crochet we have one increase and now make one double crochet on each stitch to last one stitch I have one stitch left and I will make two oh I'm sorry I have two stitches left here on top of the chain uh, three we are going to be making two double crochets one and two okay for the number 16 chain three one two and three turn and make one double crochet in the same stitch and continue making one double crochet to last one I have one stitch left and I will make two double crochets here okay this is the row number 16 and I will continue this pattern increasing one stitch at the beginning and one stitch at the end until I have 32 stitches okay this is the row number um, 16 so it's 17 18 19 20 and 21 and now i have 32 stitches i just continue the pattern increasing two at the beginning and two at the end for the number 22 we're going to make chain one and then turn and now we're going to be making one single crochet on each stitch to end continue making one single crochet to end okay now I have my uh, row with single crochet and I will make one two three four five six 
7 and 8 chains and now I will connect this one to the first stitch here with a slip stitch okay these two are connected now and when we start uh, I told you to leave about 5 inches so I will be connecting this end like this and now the two sides are connected now for the we're going to be working in rounds for the round number 23 we're going to start by making one two and three chains go to the next uh, stitch and make one double crochet and continue making one double crochet on each stitch around at the end we should have 80 double crochets another way to connect these two pieces together if you don't want to make the slip stitch here I will show you what what can we do so go back to the, I have already my stitches here to the last chain so go back to the last stitch and take the first stitch here and now make the double crochet instead of being uh, of doing the slip stitch and now just continue making your double crochet to end finish here for the row number 23 now I will slip stitch on top of the chain 3 at the beginning for the number 24 1 2 and 3 chains go to the next stitch and make one double crochet now make one and two chains we are going to skip one and two stitches and then make one double crochet one double crochet in the next space one and two chains skip two stitches and make double crochet two times like this chain two skip two and make double crochet two times just repeat this around for the number 24 I have one and two stitches left. I will make one and two chains and I will slip stitch on top of the chain three at the beginning. And we are going to make a, a another round. The 25, uh, just repeating the 24. We're going to be working double crochet on double crochet and then um, chain two. We are going to skip these two chains and make one double crochet in the next two stitches. Just continue working like this to end. And for the number 26, chain three, go back to go to the next stitch and make one double crochet. And now we're going to be making double crochet uh, on each stitch. So here on this um, chain two space, make two double crochets. And then one double crochet on each of the next two. You can go through the chain if you want like this. Just make one double crochet on each stitch around. At the end, we should have 80 double crochets. Okay, make one slip stitch on top of the chain three. Chain three again. Go to the next stitch and make one double crochet. Continue making one double crochet on each stitch around. And I will be making one more round the same. Just one double crochet on each stitch. Ok, 
Okay, this is the 24, 25, 26, and 27. And now for the 28, we're going to be adding the elastic. We're going to start by making one and two chains. Now take the elastic, yarn over, go to the same stitch and make one half double crochet like this. Go to the next stitch and make one half double crochet. Just continue making one half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I am finished here. Now I will make a slip stitch on top of the first half double crochet made. And now for the last round is going to be the number 29. Chain one, go to the same stitch and make one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in the same stitch. Skip one stitch, go to the next and repeat one single crochet, chain one and one single crochet. Skip one, single crochet, chain one and single crochet. Skip one and just keep repeating this around. Okay, now I will show you how to make the, the skirt. I will be using a G hook 4.25 millimeters and I already have my yarn on the hook. We can start on any of these uh, chain two loops. So we're gonna start by making one single crochet like this. Now we're going to chain four, three one two and three go to the next loop and make one single crochet one two and three chains go to the next uh, loop and make one single crochet one two and three go to the next loop and make one single crochet the chains and just continue repeating this around. Okay, now I will slip stitch on the first single crochet made. I will make one chain and I will go to this uh, first uh, chain three loop and make one single crochet. Now go to the next chain three loop and make it one shell with three double crochets. Have two, three, one and two chains. Go back to the same space and make three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now go to the next chain three loop and make one single crochet. Next loop, make three double crochets one two three chain two and three double crochets you just keep repeating one single crochet and then you put me making the shell with three double crochet chain two and three double crochet Okay, I will slip stitch here on the first uh, single crochet made. And now for the next uh, round, one, two, and three chains. I will go to, this is going to count as the first double crochet. Go to the next stitch and make one double crochet. Make one double crochet on each stitch. And here on the chain two space, 
1 double crochet two chain two and two more double crochets one and two uh, keep making one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain two space On the chain two space, repeat two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. Now make one double crochet on each stitch to the next uh, chain two loop and repeat. This is how we're going to be working for this round. Now I will slip stitch on top of the chain three at the beginning. And from now on, we're going to be repeating the same. We start making chain three and make one double crochet on each stitch to the chain two loop. And now on the chain two loop, make a two double crochets, one and two chain two and two double crochets. Now make one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain two loop. And here on the chain to loop, just make the two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. Okay, and this is how we're going to be working on all the rounds from now on. Okay, make one slip stitch on top of the chain three, and again one, two, and three. And the pattern is going to be the same. Make one double crochet on each stitch to the chain two loop. And here on the chain two loop, make two double crochets, two chains, and two double crochets. Now make one double crochet on each stitch to the next um, chain two space and repeat. Uh, in total, um, we need to make um, one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, rows with the um, following same pattern. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and now I'm working on the number seven. And the only difference here is going to be here on the chain two loop, you will make your two double crochets. You now make one, two, and three chains. Go back to the last stitch made and make take these two loops and make one slip stitch. Now make two more double crochets and continue making one double crochet on each stitch to the next chain to loop and we will be repeating this Ok, 
And now I will show you how to make these uh, two rounds. We are going to be working on this, between these two stitches. You can start on any part here, it doesn't matter. So we're going between these two stitches. Make one single crochet. One, two, and three chains. Go to between these two stitches here. You make one single crochet. One, two, and three chains. Go between these two stitches. And again, one single crochet. And just keep repeating this around. Okay, just make one slip stitch on the first single crochet. Chain one. And now go inside the chain three loop and make one single crochet on the next uh, chain three loop we are going to be making uh, one shell so go to the chain three loop and make one two three and four double crochet now one two three and make one slip stitch on top of the last double crochet and make four double crochets one two three four on the next uh, loop you will make one single crochet on the next loop you will make the shawl with four double crochets two three four one two and three chains and one slip stitch and then four more double crochets two three and four and the next loop is one single crochet you're going to be repeating this around okay now i will show you how to make this for the legs so you can start doing any stitch here on the back I will start right here with a single crochet I will chain two I will skip one row and I will make a single crochet on the next one and two chains I will skip one row and I will make a slip uh, single crochet on the next row and I will repeat this around okay I did my single crochet here and I will skip these two stitches I will make my single crochet right here chain two now I will skip three stitches and make my single crochet let's keep these two stitches and one single crochet and I will slip stitch on the single crochet for the second one I will start with three chains and I will go back to the same stitch and I will make two double crochets let's keep these two chains and make a slip stitch on the next single crochet chain three and two single and two double crochets one two skip these two chains and then on the single crochet make one slip stitch chain three and two double crochets okay just repeat this around I already attached these beads to the skirt and I will attach this bow over here okay I hope you can uh, make this beautiful diaper cover too don't forget to subscribe for future videos 
and have a wonderful day.